Welcome back, this is Redius. Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, load a custom roster into the game as we are in off season. And that might probably come in handy uh, to play with the realistic teams if you wanna do that. Um, how do you do that? Well, it's quite simple. You just head over here, uh, head into the share and manage files uh, section and then enter the download community files. All right, here in the community files, obviously we want to enter uh, the category of the rosters. So you just press R1, add R1 until you reach your destination. Um, here you can also sort by various categories, uh, the likes, the dislikes, the downloads, creator, uh, of course the name. And what I always like to do is sort by the added date doesn't really uh, have too much of an impact on the quality because you can have the newest roster that has been added. It's just gonna be the top one. It can be absolute trash without knowing any of, of these here, but uh, whatever, for um, for uh, uh, tutorial purposes, um, I will just be picking any roster here. So let's just go with, uh, for instance, with this one here, um, just gonna show you how to download it basically you just uh, select download file uh, and yeah then you just download this one here into um into your uh, directory it downloads and when it is done all you need to do is exit back here and then this is important you need to load the roster file otherwise it will not work it's different than with draft classes you can just load these inside of franchises but like this you need uh, to load it and I just uh, downloaded the updated roster one here So you just click X And then you say yes And there you go. And that is basically all that has to be done uh, We will exit here. There will be no cuts in this video too I just really want to show you the process here Also how you can check the rosters you go to edit rosters then manage players and then you will see the uh, the team here um, and you will see uh, basically, uh, the players that are on the team. With this roster here, we can see that this is uh, not a very good one here uh, because Bobby Wagner is still with the Rams. Um, and I bet there's going to be quite a few uh, discrepancies, Leonard Floyd and so on and so forth. So this is also for, uh, for uh, you know, uh, tutorial purposes. This is not a very good one. I will now show you the one that I'm currently using. Um, I based it off of, uh, what's it called? I'm gonna show you right now. All right, here we go, let's go here, let's go here. I based it off the uh, Accurate one. Accurate is the name that I, uh, uh, of, of the roster that I downloaded. And then I just did a few adaptions myself. Currently it's called Swift Roster, but this is an older one. Never mind. you just pick the roster that you downloaded, you load it, and then you can start checking out the roster. Um, I will just show you quickly that uh, this is an updated version, of course, and that, uh, for instance, the Rams have been completely cleared out. You can see we've got Aaron Donald, we've got Cooper Cup, Rob Havenstein, we've got Cam Akers, Higby, Robinson, Jefferson, Jordan Fuller, Ernest Jones, Matt Stafford, Joseph Noteboom, and so on and so forth. But a lot of the big name players are gone already. Um, and that is more or less a depiction of the rather depressing roster that the LA Rams have at the moment. I'm going to show you one that is a little bit more uh, impressive, probably the Jets roster. Uh, Quinn and Williams, Sauce Gardner, uh, Aaron Rodgers is on the Jets here. And uh, when you click X, you can always trade players, release players or edit players. Um, so that is something you can you can still tinker around with the rosters if you want to do that. Um, of course, always take this with a grain of salt. All of these rosters are uh, fan products, um, are, are from the community. So uh, that means that you basically, yeah, it can be good quality, but it can also be absolutely horrible. I had a few that were really bad. Um, things really uh, take a turn uh, during the draft because some some creators really update quickly. Others take a long time to, to update. Uh, some have weird names in there, uh, mistypes and stuff like that. But the quality, of some of these files is so high, I can only recommend doing this. And basically, once you have done that and check the roster, now you can see that all the players are here that you wanna go with. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you the Dolphins as well as an example here. 
um, with Jalen Ramsey's here. Um, and yeah, whatever discrepancies you, you might notice here, especially if it's your team and you know the team very well, then you can fix that yourself. And then whenever you start a game, you just start with this roster here. Um, and I will now show you how to do that as well. Uh, basically, all you need to do is uh, you head over to the franchise, for instance, if you want to do a franchise series here uh, or, or go on a franchise player, you start create new league. There we go. Um, and then, of course, you have to use the active roster. That is the roster that uh, you have loaded before. Um, and uh, I, I will choose the offline uh, just to display this. It will import the players. And with that said and done, you will now see uh, the updated rosters here um, with the key players uh, already par, uh, <laughs> a part of the, uh, of, of the team display screen here. I'm going to head over to the... Uh, here's the Bears. DJ Moore is already on the Bears. For instance, Tremaine Edmonds is on the Bears. Um, we're going to be heading to the Dolphins. And it should show us the... Uh, the, the top players here. So we've got Tyreek Hill, Jalen Ramsey, Toronto Ramsey. So basically you get what I'm saying. Um, and then you can just start the game as it stands. Um, this is all you need to do. Um, I hope this was helpful. If it was, drop me a like and subscribe. That just means a lot to me. If you have any questions, just drop them down below. I'll be happy to answer those. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.